Hi Year 6, Miss Kamal here and welcome to your last lesson of Evolution and Inheritance. So this is the last lesson of the unit. We're going to be looking at our end of unit quiz and we're going to be looking at how we can complete our assessment challenge task. Before we begin, however, let's have a look at what you've learned so far. Let's pause for thought and think about five things that you've learned so far about this topic of Evolution and Inheritance. There are some pictures here to jog your memory. Make a list of five things. Well done. So now we're going to have a look at our end of unit quiz. Usually we do this in school, but because we're learning virtually, I've set up an end of unit quiz for you on Purple Mash. Click on it and fill out the multiple choice questions that I've set for you. Once you've completed the end of unit assessment, the quiz, we're going to move on with the assessment challenge task. Now you're going to write a non-chronological report about evolution and inheritance. There are three things you must remember. You must remember to write the title, evolution and inheritance. Make sure it's underlined beautifully using a pencil and a ruler. Use subheadings in your writing too for each new paragraph and write in full sentences. Let's have a look at writing our non-chronological report and the expectations that I have. So for our title, we're going to have evolution and inheritance written on the page and underlined beautifully using a ruler and a pencil. Underneath, you're going to write inheritance and variation as a subheading. Do not write paragraph one, just inheritance and variation as a subheading underlined would be perfectly fine. Underneath you'll begin your paragraph and for your paragraph you are going to answer the following questions. What do we inherit and from who? What are characteristics? Give examples. Why do animals not look exactly like their parents? What do we call it when an animal in one species looks different to another animal in that same species? And I want you to think about different breeds of dogs, for example, to answer this question, and then give an example of variation through breeding. I want you to write this as one whole paragraph, clear structured sentences. So once you've done your first paragraph, you can move on to paragraph two. I would like you to write out your subheading, survival and adaptation, make sure you underline it with a pencil and a ruler. This paragraph is going to be looking at aspects of survival and adaptation. You're going to answer the following questions. You're going to explain what is meant by survival of the fittest. You'll then go on to talk about what animals are in competition for. Then you'll answer the question, what is it called when an organism's color allows it to blend in with its habitat? And you're going to explain why, why this is useful. You'll go on to give examples and explain how an animal of your choice is adapted to its habitat. And you'll do the same for a plant. Make sure that you answer these questions in full sentences that build to make a fluent paragraph. Now, once you've finished paragraph two, you'll move on to paragraph three. And again, you will be writing out your subheading, evolution and Darwin. You'll underline with a ruler and pencil and answer the following questions. What is evolution? What study gives us evidence of evolution? Who was Charles Darwin? What was his theory? Give a case study that proves evolution happened. Explain what the case study proved and how. Here you can think about the moth case study that we looked at. Again, answer in full sentences to create a fluent paragraph. I'm really looking forward to seeing how much you've learned over this unit. Remember all the questions that we're asking you are all to do with your learning for the past six weeks in science. Once you've completed it, take a picture and upload onto Purple Mash for us.